All right, before there was fake news, there was <laughs> Snopes. The original fact-checking website is the go-to for anyone who wants to know if what we hear is true. From Facebook privacy scams to deadly spiders to political rumors, Snopes sets the record straight. The idea for Snopes.com came from David Mickelson's own interest in urban legends, but it's, it's no myth. He's actually here with us now, the Tacoma man behind Snopes, David Mickelson. Hello, Hi. David. Hello. Good Welcome. Morning. Good morning. Thanks, thanks this is a, this is thrilling for me to meet the Snopes guy. Here you are. You're, you're real. Yes, I, I do. So exist, you are not yes. a myth. I am not. No. <laughs> That's good. So tell us the history of this a website that it's been around since when? Ninety four. Yeah. Yes. How did this right. happen? Uh, well, mostly a hobby. Right. Gone amok. <laughs> um, <laughs> back in the, the late eighties, I worked for a big computer company, right. so we were kind of on the internet before most people yeah, so you knew never heard of the internet. inside and out already. Yes, right. so it's kind of like when the first, when the web started, yeah. you know, he started chronicling urban legends, and it just kind of took a left turn from <laughs> <laughs> what I intended. Well, I mean, it's worked out well, though, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's really well. cool. Well, so how does, how does it exactly work? What, describe what fake news is to you, as we hear this term a lot nowadays. Yeah, we kind of like use the term junk news now because right, not, okay. not all of this stuff is fake, but True. Um, you know, it, it, you can be very misleading and still be 100% accurate, but it's, you know, everything we see, you know, memes, news stories, you know, uh, Russian trolls, everybody. Spiders. Yeah. Like this, got them <laughs> Pushing yeah. fake There's narratives. There's this, this story here. How, how do you guys uh, debunk something like this? Uh, or not necessarily debunk it. If it's true, how do you, how do you, you know, flesh it out and make sure you can find out what the details are? Well, you know, it kind of depends what the subject matter is because right. it can be run very broadly. Like this spider one, well, duh, just looking at the pictures, you can tell it's, it's an ordinary common species of spider. And, uh, you know, coupled with the fact that nobody's reporting people dying from spider bites, you know, <laughs> and then you track it back to the source and you see it's one guy. So Right. OK, yeah. sure. It, so that's kind of how you, you get into the details. You find out, OK, this is one person. Yeah. You kind of trace it back to that person. Yeah. It's like okay. you said, like, if, you know, a deadly asteroid is going to smash into Earth and obliterate all life in a couple of weeks. Yeah, which I've heard that's happening. You're yeah. not going to be reading about it on, you know, Cousin Larry's obscure blog. <laughs> it kind of be a bigger story. So you're, are you saying we shouldn't trust Cousin Larry? Is that what I'm getting? <laughs> Your Cousin Larry. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't trust any of my cousins. I'll tell you that much right now. So, so tell us about uh, the fact checking you do. How, why can we trust you? Uh, well, of course, we've been doing this for 20-something years, so if we didn't right. have a well-established reputation for being accurate, then we wouldn't have a reputation. Um, you know, so, um, and like other fact-checking entities, we show our work. You can see the sources we used. We explain how we track things, so you can look for yourself if you don't believe. How has it kind of changed from when you started decades ago to now? Well, um, it's changed certainly in the way things have spread because back right. when we started, people were forwarding chunks of text in email, you know, before social sure. media. And, you know, s since then, now social, you know, s things are spread by social media. They primarily go by Facebook. They're mostly in like meme or graphic mm -hmm. form, you know, rather than text. And, of course, it also spreads a lot faster and farther <laughs> than it did before. You know, like, I like to kid that now, um, you know, before things took several weeks to go viral, now somebody posts something outrageous on Facebook and 30 minutes later That's it's a headline true. in the New York Post or something. The so. speed is, is, is amazingly different. <laughs> yes. How about, how about with the current political climate? How, how has that changed things for you? More searches in that realm? Yeah, well, certainly politics <laughs> kind of took right. over and obliterated yeah. just everything else. Yeah. And kind of at the last election, it took a different turn with people discovering that they could do this for monetary purposes, mm -hmm. shall we say. They didn't necessarily care about ideology or who won, but just putting fake stuff out there you know, drove traffic, drove money. Right. So that was a big factor in what kind of stuff we're seeing. Are there some stories that over the years just will not die? Yes, <laughs> many zombie stories that will not die. So we, I think we really just want to believe in zombies, right? <laughs> Is that what's going on? Uh, no, <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's a lot of things that, they, that we've been tracking for so many years, like enter your 
pin in reverse at any ATM to summon okay. the police. And like, it's never been true. You know, it debunked it 15, 20 years ago. But it's it just sometimes you wonder, because it never goes away. It's like, how are there people still on the internet who have <laughs> never come across this before? You know? How about this one? Rat, something about rat urine? You can <laughs> yeah, catch yeah, it yeah. From, on soda cans. Yeah. So I want to make sure this is not true. No, mostly not true. I mean, it's not like completely outside the realm of plausibility, sure. but okay. the likelihood you're going to catch some deadly disease from rat urine on a soda can <laughs> is exceedingly low, like below the margin of you should really even be worried about this. Okay, it's good. Like, wash off your soda cans. Okay, job done. I can done. cross that off my list. Yeah. I don't have to worry. How did you, how did you figure out that that was not true? That easy? <laughs> that one was so <laughs> so long ago. Well, I mean, it, again, it's looking into the what's claimed, the background right, of sure. what is this disease and and uh, how is it spread and how are soda cans handled in the shipping um, arena and you know can these can can this Ill, you know this disease the the things that spread it really live in this environment and you know things. so you you may call a scientist and see yeah okay yeah we're talking to David Mickelson he's the the Snopes guy. He, Kind of made up this whole website. It's so cool that you that you did this because actually I've consulted as a someone in media. I need to find mm -hmm. out if things are true, mm -hmm. despite what people think sometimes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so we, oh, we do use you as a, as a source for sure. Not the only source, right? yes. just one, one source. So tell me about uh, like the Facebook privacy story. Is this still going on as well? Uh, there was like the Facebook, uh, Facebook's going to claim copyright to everything you post on Facebook. Uh -huh. Yeah, the, that one kind of it's one of those ones that has big surges, like the ATM story is just always kind of out there. This one, it like reappears and it just goes dormant. And then yeah. a year later, suddenly again, it's like how are there people on Facebook who have not seen this before, but it just pops up and like a Nova and you know, it burns <laughs> brightly for a few days till everybody calms down again. And wow, you've, you've probably learned a lot about us as a species, haven't you? A lot about what? It's about humans, about well, the way we are and who we some are. Some of them. I... <laughs> well, David, yes. thank you. Okay. Great Welcome. to meet you. Thanks. I guess you got to get back to work and do some, some research, right? I do. All right, uh, David Mickelson <laughs> from Snopes. Thank you. All right, we, when we come back, the, the options available for women seeking breast reconstruction after cancer. We'll be right back.